Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for being a big support. You know, the, the channel is growing so fast and I'm so gratefully appreciated of that. And you know, and you're, you're sending me, you know, validation that I'm not going through this alone. And it's good that I can actually start a community up where you know I can just put videos out just to let people know hey if you're going through this this is why and you know source sends me information to give you so you know you're not going through all this alone and there's always a good reason for the things that you're going through so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while I have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when you're girl if I upload our next video. Also, if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just out telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good information that you would love to share with a, a friend or a loved one that you feel like might need to hear that, at that time, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share also on your your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving me love and support i hope you are able to you know uh what is it resonate <laughs> resonate with this video resonate with the content of my video y'all i don't know what is going on with me today it's just really been off for me today but i am getting it together i'm getting it together but anyways um i told y'all i'll be posting for the next couple of weeks you know my daughter's website all my videos you know for her to be able to get you know as many donations as she possibly can you know and it'll be greatly appreciated you know she's starting her own book publishing her own book and i'm so proud of her it has different artists and and uh, different poets is all collaborated into one and they're showing their different paintings and all that stuff and it's gonna be very nice so if you can stop by her channel let me let her know I sent you and you know if you can donate a couple of dollars that I'll be greatly appreciated and today um, my meditation music that I'm listening to today is awakening positive energy meditation music healing music relax relax mind body and inner peace and balance and i'll post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 helga is going through the push and pull factor yes push and pull factor y'all we oh, it, it's just like nobody's perfect nobody is and you know just going through this situation you know people always say rosin you're so positive and you know this and this and that rosin don't have a good day every day <laughs> Rosalind does not I just when you can actually have somebody that you truly trust I have friends that I go one-on-one -on -one with and you know I, I'm just straight honest with y'all you know there's days I have my happy moments and there's days that I'd be wanting to pull my hair out and say F the world F the universe and all this stuff yes there's days I'm like that and <laughs> there's days I'm really like that and it's like we have to go through these things like you can be okay one day and the next thing you know you be sounding like a babbling idiot <laughs> and it's just like you know I'm just like you know I'm going through this why did my family put me through this you know I, I miss my dad you know I just get really crazy about it and I get emotion really emotional and if you have somebody that you can trust that you know to talk to please go ahead and do so you know even there's people come out to me on one-on-ones y'all if y'all send me any kind of email and I haven't got back to them this, this is the reason why because it's like when I have energy like this I don't like pushing that into words because it's like I can feel people's energy coming through their I mean they could be send me a comment or a text and I can feel their power within their words so I try not to do that when with other people you know me and my friends you know, I can talk to, and I, I mean, I love them so much that I can sit up here and, you know, say the things I have to say, get it off my chest, and feel good. 
And it's like, you know, universe that we have to go through these changes because we're filtering a lot of stuff out. We're getting rid of a lot of things that, you know, that has hurt us, that has brought us down, got us the way we are. Because, you know, as helpers, we don't want to do some hell. You know, some people can just say, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to let it go. Us as helpers, we got to dig, pry, try to find out why is this this way, why is it that way. You know, go investigating stuff. But it's all normal. I was getting through that because I said, okay, what am I going to talk about today? And I'm just like, okay, you know what? We're going through the push and pull factor. There can be days you, you, know, you can be optimistic about the world. You're looking like one of those those happy-go-lucky commercials that you feel like somebody done had them a daggone volume drip all day. Like, hey, you know, I'm jumping through the daisies and jumping through the flowers. And I'm like, there ain't that many people that damn happy in the world. I <laughs> know he was like, did you have a blunt or something today? Did you have a volume? You know, why Why are y'all so daggone happy? You know, and it, it's funny when I say that because it's just like, you know what? I don't need all that stuff in my life. I, I've had it. You know, I don't put nobody else down who, you know, smokes weed or whatever. You know, it's just not for me. I, you know, I've tried it before, you know, like I told y'all before, there are certain videos I knew I was high, and I'm just like, it is cringeworthy to me, because I'm like, oh my god, I'm, oh my god, I was so high, you know, but that was when I was getting a lot of my messages, where I felt like, okay, I can't be sober and try to get this stuff, because I'm not getting it, but that was in my mind, that, you know, programmed in my mind, I needed my weed, to go ahead and get stuff from the higher source but now it's just that I don't smoke weed anymore I'm able to get it and I, it's just like I'm so proud of myself because I go through so many things don't pick up a cigarette don't don't want to roll a blunt there's times I don't thought about it but I never did but you know when we're all going through these situations knowing it's normal if you you know old memories come popping up you know that's a spiritual flu I told y'all it's just like old memories will come up crazy dreams like I had apocalyptic dreams like every time I go upstairs it was a new level of craziness you know and I'm just like damn I feel like I'm in the middle of a Freddy Krueger movie like is this gonna end and it's just really crazy you know I was like why can't I dream about you know like puppies or <laughs> koalas dolphins you know something like the dolphins you know I would love to do that but it's just like these crazy dreams keep popping up and it's like I guess it's filtering out all the the trauma the past trauma we've been through so it's just like if you're going through these days where you you can have a really good day and then the next thing you know everything hits you all at once the next day it's normal. it's normal you know I told my friend one of my other friends the other day I thought I was bipolar and even though I was diagnosed with bipolar because no offense to anybody who has a mental illness because I've had them you know I actually had them I just don't you know Doctors always come up with some kind of crazy labels they want to label you as because of the things you have went through through your childhood. And, you know, and I feel bad for people like that because it's like, if you never went through this, I really don't think you would have had an illness in the first place. But, you know, things happen the way they happen. But the best thing is when you're able to heal from all those situations and know it's okay to have a bad day. It is. It really is okay to have a bad day. As long as you don't act out on your bad days and want to go postal and shoot up some stuff. You know, I'm like, I don't recommend all that because, you know, orange ain't the new black for me. I can't do it. You know, I ain't trying to go to prison. But, you know, it's just, you can do it healthy wise. Like, this morning I got up, even though I was depressed, I made myself go out and do a eight mile I thought I was going to do 10, but I know I did 10 yesterday, 10 mile uh, walk. I did an eight mile walk today. Just reminisce, listen, listen to my dad's music and it really made me feel good. So it's just like when I'm going through these things, it's just a blessing. Even though I'm not with my dad physically, he's always there to let me know, hey, it's okay. You know, you go through things, you live and you learn, but as long as you're happy, you know, he always just wants me to be happy. And, you know, that's a real big blessing, even though he couldn't be here. You know, it's just that he can always be there for me phys metaphysically and spiritually. So it's just like going through all these things. We have to go through the push and pull factor of going through stuff because we, we needed all of this out of our our lives so we can be able to do whatever we are, we're getting activated for. I still don't know what the heck we're getting activated for. But certain people play a major part in these situations. And the people that go through 
they're, they're, are really going through some stuff, they are really going through some stuff because you're going to have to be facing something very big pretty soon. So they're making you go through all absolute hell. It's like bootleg crazy. So it's just like, you know, when you're trying to figure out why do I got to go through so much hell when I'm pushing out so much positivity. I've, I've heard a lot of people tell me that. Rosalind, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good person. I got a kind heart. And I'm pushing out love. I'm pushing out positivity. And I stay to get crapped on. They need you to go through that. And it's sad to say you need to go through that situation because it's like when when something comes up to you that is like like Godzilla type problems, you'll be able to handle it. You know, and it's just like I, I have grown to have tough skin, even though there are some days I can't be a Power Ranger. I tell my friends that I can't be a Power Ranger every day on day. I want my days where I can just cry and snot and all that stuff and just say, OK, you know, I got this out. I'm getting it together. So it's like when you go through these things, knowing you're going through them for a reason. No, you're not crazy, and no, you're not going through them alone. Every day is not going to be perfect, but it's the best thing is when you can be able to get back up after you don't fall, fail. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to y'all. I thought I was going to take a break today, but I said, heck no, I'm going to go ahead and do me some more videos. They make me feel good, and I know it makes you feel good as well. So like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Drop me a line or two. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share as well. My post notification shout out goes to Jurassic Mark, Michelle Olsen. And Lewis Johnson, much love to you, many blessings. They say 1111, so you go ahead and make a wish. And I will see you on my next video. Have a peace, happy Monday, and be wild.